Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn one of the advanced editing techniques inside Premiere Pro. We have three-point editing and we have four-point editing. So we're going to discuss three-point editing right now. And in the next video, we're going to discuss four-point editing. But basically, they're um, using the same thing. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. So now we are inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So in this example, please try to open Lesson 01 Editing all right and uh, all right before we start we need to make sure that we are on the same workspace which is editing workspace to do that let's click on editing workspace at the top boom all right we are inside of the editing workspace now if you make some changes in the uh, panel so we need to make sure that we really on this on the default of the editing workspace so to do that click on window click on workspace and we are in the editing good but we need to reset it to save layout all right now we are on the reset layout of editing workspace let's do the three point editing so first we need to go to assets folder and let's look for the video footage all right now i'm gonna shrink my timeline uh, i'm hitting the minus sign on the keyboard all right cool all right how about let's create a new sequence so that we could start all over again so let's click on file at the top click on new and click click on sequence all right now let's uh let's name this let's name this a three point editing three point editing click ok all right now we have three point editing right now so say for example you're in the yet uh, you're in the timeline sequence and you're about to start uh, your timeline and you have your footage ready you have your assets ready and you want to edit it on the timeline and uh, you want to use some of the advanced technique to do that all right so we have three point editing the first time i learned this well i'm so excited to use it because um it's so easy to use and i edit so much faster using this technique all right so let's do it so say for example in the video assets um okay so we have this video all right and we want to add it so let's try to open this on the source monitor all right cool so we have the uh, zero two hawk let's open this on the source monitor the zero zero two hawk and say for example we want to add this in our timeline so by doing the the three point editing first we want to set up the in point the second is the out point and the third is how we can add the uh the footage from source monitor down to our timeline all right we're gonna press three buttons to achieve the three point editing all right so let's say we want to add the hawk here first part so we're going to set the in point here all right or letter i or the letter i on the keyboard i boom there's an in there's a in point here and we want to set the out point let's uh press the letter o on the keyboard and we want to put it here in the timeline so it's either we can press the uh insert or override okay so let's say we want to insert it so we can press the uh, comma on the keyboard comma and then there you go as you can see it's tiny so let's try to make it larger by hitting the plus sign all right i'm on the uh, source monitor okay sorry so let's click on the uh, sequence monitor oh sorry let's click on the sequence timeline and let's see the plus sign to make it bigger plus sign all right i think that's big enough cool all right let's go to the next footage which is the 003 river and really we want to set up an in point here and let's set up an out point here all right so you can use your mouse and set click here i hit the i click uh scroll your uh, circle drag your blue uh, playhead here hit your letter o and then hit your comma oh sorry uh, it's already here right the blue playhead make sure it's already here and then hit the comma so after you hit the comma here boom it's, it will go there right there snap it like that and we're gonna uh, go here uh, the uh, in our assets folder let's say we want to add this video so let's see your i and then set your o and then hit comma boom it's right here it's right here on your uh sequence all right so i'm just pressing the three keys here three buttons here and then it's automatically adding the uh, video from our project panel going to the timeline easy as that that's really fast okay let's do it again so zero six let's go here zero six all right zero six where is it it's blank so let's go zero seven all right let's uh drag it here uh, press the letter i drag it here press the letter letter o and then hit 
comma, boom, it's right there. So all of the footage is right here. As you can see, let's press the playhead. All right, there you go. Perfect, easy, all right? That's your three point editing, all right? In the next video, we're gonna walk you through how four point editing works, okay? Um, okay, and that is your three point editing. So you set your, e so you use your source monitor, you set the in point and you, uh, you set the out point and you hit I or the dot sign to override and then the, the footage will automatically add it here. So we're just basically using uh, we're just basically using IO comma or IO dot. So that's three point editing technique, one of the advanced uh, technique on editing in Premiere Pro. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you like that technique and see you in the next video.